Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So basically now today we are going to make a project. That project will actually contain all the information about the name of the movie which you will be entering. So that will be giving me the title of that movie. It will be giving me the year, uh, like release year of that movie. And even it will be telling me about the cast of that movie. That basically whatever the heroes and heroines were into that movie. Right, so this is the whole idea about today's Python project that we are going to make and rest of the things I would let you know in the project itself. Right, now basically it is a movie information Python project, a project that will let me know all the information about a particular movie, whichever I am just entering. So for that I just need to install a library onto my device and after that we are good to go for the project, right. So this is basically my PyCharm IDE. I'm just on my PyCharm IDE and I'm just going to make project on this particular IDE itself. So after that, I would just go onto this terminal, which is present down left side onto my PyCharm ID, and that is terminal. I would just click on this terminal, right? Now I just want to install the library. So for the command for installation of library onto this particular window is, I would write here pip. After that, I would add here install. Okay, pip install. After that, I would just add capital I, capital M, capital D, small b, and capital P, capital Y. Now, please make sure to write this capital and small very correctly. Otherwise, it will be going to show you error, right? Let me quickly repeat that. That what is it? So, I'm just going to install my IMDB library, okay? So, for that, I need to write pip install. And for the IMDB, I, M, and D, all the three would remain capital and B would be in the small letters. After that, P, Y should also be added and that would be also be in capital letter as well, okay? Just hit enter and basically it will download the library for you onto your devices, whatever you are using. So for me, it is basically showing that requirement already satisfied because I have already installed this onto my particular, this PyCharm ID where I am just writing the code, right? Now, basically, if you are just using any ID, you can just install that and for you, it will show initializing then installed and then after that successfully installed. Right. So even I have just written out the command here also, you can just have a look over this command also. Right. Now, let's begin up with the project for now. And as soon as I have just installed that library into my window, now into my IDE, the first thing that comes here is that I need to import that out. Right. So I would just write here as import. And I would just write here IMDB like this. Okay, that would be IMDB would be in small, not in capitals. Had we had installed, not like that. It would be in small, that is IMDB. Okay, now after this, basically, I'm just going to use that IMDB library right now. So for that, I would use a variable let's say. Okay, I would make a variable let's say that is A. Okay, A is equal to I am IMDB, that would be small. The library which I have imported right now, I would just use that here. I would put a dot u okay after that i would just use imd in the capitals okay the single i imd in the capitals and b in the small and even i just put my brackets here so this imdb is another function which i have into this imdb library right so that i have just used that here right so i hope this must be very clear to that what i have just done till now Moving on to the next line, now what I just need to do is that I need to ask the user for entering any particular movie name. I just do not want this program, this project to be restricted on a particular library, on sorry, on a particular movie name. No, I do not want this. I want this that whatever the names, like whatever the name you want to enter, you can just enter that choice of yours and you can just get the info about the movie. Right. So that I'm just going to enter here. So for that, I'll be making a variable that is movie underscore name okay movie underscore name and after that i'll be taking the input from the user now before the input function why i am not using a particular data type so the answer for this is that whenever we just do not enter any particular data type before the input function so it automatically treats my uh, string my like the data which i'm just going to write it automatically treats that into the string format and yes i want that itself right i want the data that is it, that i just sent us i'm just writing here that should be in the string and whatever the user is entering that should also be in, in the string right so i'm just not entering any of the data type before this input function right let's do the above thing uh, for the things so input is done here basically so after input i would just use the let's say my sentence is enter the enter the name of a movie let's say this is the sentence okay 
I would just end right that and come on to the next line. Fine, that is completed. Now I just want to use some functions for this I am from this IMGB library that would just search out the movie name and all the things for me. Right. So for that basically now I will be making a variable. Let's say that variable is movies. M O V I E S. Let's say okay. Now into this variable, what I'll be storing is that. First, I will be taking the a variable in which I have used my IMGB library and given one function. Right. So we just write a dot, and here I'll be using the search underscore movie function. Now the search underscore movie function will actually help me to search out the movie. Right. So putting after that, I'll just put the double brackets, and inside this, I would just use str, and that is under movie underscore name. Right, so I'm just writing that string. I'm just like whatever the input has been given by the user. Okay, I am just successfully converting that into the string format so that afterwards no issues come at the run of my program. Right, that thing I have done right now. Moving on to the next line, here I'd be declaring a variable and that is index. Okay, index is another variable which I have declared and I would be using here as movies and in bracket it is my zeroth index. Okay, dot. Now here I'll be using another function that is get id and the brackets. Okay. Now moving towards the next line here I'll be using the uh, let's say movie variable. Now movie is equal to I would use here a dot get underscore movie m o v i okay that is m o v i e movie and in the bracket I will be using here as the index. Index is a variable which I had declared above. Right. Just have a look over this variable which I had declared. Right. So that I have just done and in this get underscore movie function I have passed on that index variable. Right. Like, now just coming on to the next line basically now I just want the title the year and the cast to be displayed here as an output. Right. So for that Firstly, I'll be making the variable that is movie underscore title. Okay, that is equal to that is equal to my movie uh, movie variable which I had used movie and then in the bracket I would be entering there as title. Okay, so in this case I'll be entering here T I okay I T L E. Okay, so basically it will come as title here. Okay, let me just do one thing. Let me just quickly convert this T I T L E to a small. Fine. Moving on. Moving to the next one. I have done about the title. Now my next thing that I need to do here is about my cast as well. Okay. So that okay, let's do it for the year one first. Okay, so movie underscore year is equal to I would just write here movie. Again the large brackets and inside that large bracket inside the semi quote I need to enter here as year. Right. Moving next to the line, I would just write movie underscore and let's say I would be adding here as cast. Okay, that is uh, okay. C A S T. Right. Put equal to sign. Again, use out that movie function movie and in the bracket I would be using here as cast. C A S T. Right. So I have declared different different variables and onto the different different variables I have stored the title year and cast for the movie. Now, what's the next thing that I just need to do is that firstly, I need to uh, like uh, here the movie cast that will be coming that will be coming name by name. So I just want to divide it by commas, right? I just want to put the commas after each and every name. So for that, firstly, I would be applying the for syntax. So here I'm just coming down uh, and coming to the next line. Okay, so that would be list of list of cast. Let's say this is the variable that I had made. And which is list of cast, right? So list of cast, I would put the uh, semi quote and in the, in, so inside that I would put a comma. Okay, I would just put a dot and just use my join function. Join function is actually used to join all of the names that will be coming, that will be separated using a comma. And this was the thing that I actually wanted, right? Because I want that whatever the name should be come, uh, coming as an output for me as a cast, that should basically do not mix up in each other. So I want to put one comma. Okay, I want to put the commas between each and every name. Okay, so that join will work. After that, in the bracket, I'll be using the function that is map. And in that, I'll be using the string. Why string? Because what the, like, uh, the cast will be the name of a string, right? That will be in the form of the strings, right? So in that case, I am passing out here as str. And at last, I would just write here 
movie underscore cast right so because i just want to perform this function on the movie underscore cast variable right so I, in that case i have just written it here right now i just want to print all of these title i want to print title i want to print year into even i just want to print out the cast as well right so in that case i'd be using out firstly my print still let me come down first of all right so i'll be using my print statement first of all and in that inside that print statement i'll be writing title of the movie okay title of the movie is and I just want it to be printed like this. The title of the movie is this. Year of the release of movie is this. And the full cast of the movie is this. I would just want it to be displayed like this. Now, this totally depends on you that what way you want your output to be displayed. Okay, you simply want the names to be displayed. Or before that name, you want the sentence to be displayed. What kind of sentence? That totally depends on you. Alright. So, that title of the movie is, I will just put the comma here now. And that would be movie underscore right come on to the next line okay just let me do one thing we just do it like this right it's now better i guess again i would just use out my second print statement and into this print statement i'll be using the year so i'll be just writing here uh year of release of the movie is okay i would be just using out the sentence i'd put one comma and here i'll be using movie underscore year done now, next line, I'll be using out my print statement once again here. And now, I would, I'll be doing it for the movie cast, right? So, I'll be writing here full cast, uh, that, say cast of the full cast of the movie is. And here, we're just putting the semi quotes. And, okay, that was colon, not semi -code. Let me just come down first of all. Okay, put one comma the, here. And it'll be using the variable that is movie underscore cast right okay let me just quickly go above once and just explain you quickly this program after that we'll be running the output of the, of the program right firstly i have just imported my imdb library here that is this one okay firstly i've installed that after that i have imported that library onto this particular file after that i had taken a variable that is let's say a okay now you can just get give any variable of your choice whatever you just wish to take right so a is equal to and here i'd be taking imdb is equal to imdb this this one is a small and this one is a capital please make sure to write the correct spellings after that i have taken movie name so i just want that movie name to be from the user from the like whatever the movie name you should give according to that only uh, I should get the answer, right? So in that case, I just use movie underscore name, and here I have taken the input from the user that is input, and into the name of the movie, right? After that, I had taken another variable that is movies, okay? Movies is equal to, and now here I have used the function that is search movie, okay? And whatever the movie name is being given by the user, I have just converted that into the str format here, okay? Next line. Next thing, basically, I have index. Index is another variable which I had made, and in this variable, I had given movies zero dot get id. Okay. Then after that, I had made a variable that is movie, and in that, basically, I had used out the function that is get underscore movie, and in the bracket, I have used out the index. Right. Then I want the title, year, and cast of the movie to be displayed. So in that case, I have given the title as uh, basically I had made the variable which is movie underscore title which will actually display and that will actually store the title of my movie right after that the movie underscore year will actually store the year for my movie and after that movie underscore cast will actually store the cast of my movie now whatever the names whatever the name of the hero heroines whatever that just come here i just want all of the that things to be separated by a comma i just, just do not want that all of them should be messed up in one row and something like that no i do not want what i just want is that all of them should be separated by proper commas right so in that case i had just used this comma and the join function okay and simply and now i just printed the uh, title of the movie year of the release of the movie and full cast of the movie now let this let me quickly run out my movie here this program let me quickly run it out okay let me even uh, increase it and zoom it as well so it is asking me to enter the name of a movie let's say first thing which i enter for the movie is bang bang okay this was this is the movie right i would just do enter here 
Now, just how we look that basically it would be giving me the whole information about this particular library. Now, please make sure that basically it will even be giving me, okay, just one second, right? Okay, now basically the name of the movie is Bang. When the title of the movie is capital B and capital B, okay, fine. After that, it is even giving me the year of release. So the year of release of the movie is 2014. Okay, it is the 2014. After that, the full cast of the movie is, it is giving me even the ideas of the persons. The name is Ritik Roshan and it is Katrina Kav and that is Pavan Malhotra and many, many, many are there. You can just have a look on your own, whatever you just want to live here. Right, so this is the whole idea about giving the things and getting the things about this about all of the basically movies that you are having let's quick, quickly run it once more and even give it a one more try so i will just run it once again let's say now the second thing that i'm gonna enter is three idiots this was is also a movie right i b i o t s and i would just okay the spelling is wrong i do not know that basically will it correct it or will it like um, let's see that was basically what it does actually for this particular name that i have given here okay so it has corrected the name on your own okay so it is it is giving me some other library right sorry some other movie because i have given the wrong spelling right so let me just quickly run it once again and show you that thing okay so i will just write a uh, here at three d i d i o t s okay and i will just do hit enter now it will basically uh one more thing it this library actually works on the your internet connection so it basically works on that thing only so the title of the movie it is giving me as three idiots and release of the movie is 2009 right and the cast of the movie and all these things right so i hope that you have got a fair idea how you can make a project like this and how you can implement the things how you can just make a project and now it's yeah i had already it's like made many projects of the teak inter so it will be now easy for you to convert this normal project into a teak inter project right i hope you will be able to do that thing so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care